So today I'm going to do a collective clothing haul for you. Um, these are just a few bits that I've got over the last few weeks. I'm going to stop doing clothing hauls all the time um, because they're my favourite videos to watch but I'm sure they're not everyone's favourite videos to watch. So put a comment in the box below telling me what you would like to see. Um, I've got a Coastal Scents palette on its way to me. Uh, I won't tell you what one it is. But once I get that, I'm definitely going to be doing some more like makeup tutorials and things like that. So yeah, let me know what you guys want to watch. Okay, so I've been to a few various places and I'm going to show you what I got from each shop. Okay, so first of all I went to Choice and um, I had a gift voucher from Choice for like from ages ago because I just had it for ages. So I got this Franklin and Marshall hoodie that I'm wearing now. It's purple as you can see and it's kind of got like the cracked writing on it as opposed to the um you know just like flat bold writing which I think all oh, the video oh I'm really sorry if this keeps going orange by the way I'm not this orange in real life I'm just trying to sort out the camera the new camera and stuff um so yeah I got this it was 80 pounds and I had an 85 pound gift voucher um yeah I've wanted a Franklin and Marshall hoodie for ages and ages and ages and I just really like this colour so yeah, I got that. I'm sure you all know what it looks like, but that's a hood. And then it's got the little like, kangaroo pouch pocket thing. H&M. So in H&M I got some leggings. Very boring. I'm sure you've all seen a pair of black leggings before. They look like that. And they were like £5. So they're much thicker than Primark leggings, which are about £5 as well, actually. So yeah, you're getting... A, better leggings because they're one thing I don't really like from Primark so I get them sometimes but they they can be a bit cheap so then I got this black lace top looks like that um, obviously you'd have to wear a top underneath it these are £2.99 okay, so then I got some <clears throat> some play suits um, let me see if I can show you these properly so they've got these little thin spaghetti straps and they look like this they um, kind of have an elasticated waist. I'm saying they because I got two, but um, yeah, there's this one. This is a black one, obviously, and it looks kind of like a dress, but it is um, shorts. So I just love play suits. They're really easy to like team up with other accessories and stuff and other clothes, and they just look really, really nice. Um, and these are seven ninety nine from H and M. So I think that's a that's a really good value for something that's the top and the bottoms of your outfit so I got it in black and I also got it in red and white and navy which is really cute kind of keeping with the nautical theme that seems to be back this spring summer so yeah um that's that it's really really creased because I've just got it out of the bag and this fabric creases so easily which is kind of annoying but this of 99 I mean you can iron them so it's not like the end of the world so that looks like that again cinched in waist and like that okay then I went to New Look and I bought this jumper thinking about it I don't really know why I did because I just bought an £80 purple jumper and this is a £10 plain lilac jumper but I think it's really nice to just wear casually um, you know if you're lounging around or if you're just going somewhere casual just looks like that It's a really gorgeous colour, I really love this colour at the moment, and £10, and it's so soft, I mean obviously you don't know how soft it is, but it just feels really soft and cosy, so that's all I got in New Look, but yeah, that was, yeah, that was £10. So then I went to Zara, and I got, sorry that's my phone if you can hear it, but basically I got this top. I might have shown you or worn in another video a top that's quite similar to this with the braces on, which I really like. I just really like that androgynist kind of look, but oh, what am I doing? But where it's still quite um, girly and cute because it's got the floral design on, which I just love. Um, kind of a pastel y colour. And it says California Heart. So that's what it looks like at the back. And the braces come off as well, which is good because you can just wear the top on its own if you want to. And this was £16.99. And the one I got from Urban Outfitters was about £30. So it's like literally half the price. So, yeah, that's pretty good. And then 
The only other thing I bought in Zara is this gorgeous top. And if anyone's been on my website, then they will know that I love Alice in Wonderland. I mean, I've got the Alice in Wonderland charm bracelet, and I've got the tea for two necklace, which is a little teapot, and various other things. Um, and this, if I just put the label away, so you can see it, is an Alice in Wonderland t-shirt. And honestly, the camera does not do this justice, how gorgeous it is. I'll just hold it up. I'm going to go, like, bright orange again. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, that's what it looks like. So you've got Alice with a pink dress, which is quite odd for Alice in Wonderland. You normally think it's a blue dress. Um, but yeah, she's at a little table with a rabbit, like a white rabbit, and she's got all different things on the table. And then at the bottom, there's for some reason a deer, but he's wearing the Mad Hatter's hat. And there's another little rabbit. So I just really love this top. Anything Alice in Wonderland themed. And this was just different. I mean, look at her. She's like got makeup on and stuff, she just looks cool, so it's a bit more edgy than, you know, the other Alice in Wonderland stuff that's out at the moment, and um, this was 9 99 which I think is really good. So then I went to Topshop, and you're going to be so annoyed with me and disappointed now, because I didn't buy any of the makeup, um, I had a quick look, and there was some really, really nice stuff, but I didn't, I didn't get any, because, well... They've got some really nice nail varnishes, but I've got most of those colours in Barry M, and I love Barry M nail paints, so they kind of do the job. Um, they don't really have that many great lipsticks. They had some really nice looking eyeshadows and stuff, which I'm going to definitely check out, but people were just crowding around it, and it was getting annoying, so I think I'm going to go back when it's a bit quieter and have another look. But anyway, I'll show you what, the, what clothes I got. So first of all, I got this lemon yellow top. It's very basic, it's just basically a vest, <laughs> vest, and um, it's got little lacy cap sleeves on, and then it's lacy at the back as well, um, they have these in all different colours, this was £15, which I think is very expensive for what it is really, seeing as it's fairly see-through as well, I mean, uh, probably shouldn't have paid that for it, but I liked it. Then from Topshop. I got this dress, which looks more orange on the camera as well, like my face, <laughs> but it's really like a lemony, um, but it's really like a lemony kind of greeny colour. I just love floral dresses, I can't, I don't even know how many times I must have said that, but it's got um, a cinched in waist and at the bottom it kind of has a few different tiers. And so, yeah, that looks like that. And I'm really looking forward to wearing this somewhere in the summer. It's very summery. But you could probably wear this in the autumn as well. So it could really look, go right through through the summer to the fall or the autumn, as you might call it. Um, and this is £28, which, I mean, that's the fabric of it. I don't really know if you can see it that well. I've only just realised that it's see-through. Hmm could be a problem but it was 28 pounds which which I think is pretty good so yeah that's that I can't believe it's see-through okay so the last place I went to was Lush and I bought three things and I've um, got a few samples as well so I'm just going to quickly show you what I got I've been on that like, behind there this whole time so I got another piece of Rockstar soap this is probably I don't know if it's my favourite product because soaps, I'm not a massive fan of like bars of soap. I find them very like squeaky, I've said that before. Um, but yeah, I love the smell. It's my favourite smell probably ever in the whole entire world. Very like cherry, sweet. Um, it just reminds me of like cherry aid. That's the only way I can describe it. Mm, I could smell that all day and now my room smells amazing. So I've got another bit of that. It's quite a large bit. That was about £4 for that chunk. But obviously you can cut it up and use it loads. Okay, I can't put that there. And then I got Floating Island, which is a bath melt. I haven't tried this before. But it, felt, it smells very vanilla-y, milky. Just very, like, relaxing and, like, cosy and calm. And it's just going to melt away in your bath. It's not really going to do much. It's just going to give you a very milky bath. And it said it's supposed to make your skin really smooth. So... Looking forward to trying that. I haven't got all the prices, but you can check them out on the website. 
Okay, and the next thing is something I've been wanting to get for ages. And I know I'm gonna and I know I'm gonna say it wrong because I don't know how to say it. You can read it if you can see that. Um it's called Sarah Dwin's Cauldron. Sarah Dwin? Sarah Dwin? I don't know, Sarah Dwin's Cauldron. Um, so basically it comes in this little Hessian like cloth with a little um, red tie around it and it's a bath melt so it's just gonna you put the whole thing in your bath like this and then it just melts away and then you're left with these kind of oats and seeds and stuff in the bath melt in the bath melt in the um, Hessian bag thing so yeah you're left with that and then you can use it as a scrub so that's really good so it's kind of like two things in one so you can like scrub your body with it afterwards so I'm looking forward to trying that and that was about three pounds something um, it doesn't say okay so then like she gave me four th four three four free samples which they never give me samples in there like never this is the first time I've ever been given samples so I was really excited um, so I, the samples I got quickly were Jasmine and Henna Hair Moisturiser. Haven't tried any of these before, but you know, that sounds good, so I'm going to try that. And then I got Ocean Salt Facial Scrub, which I've been wanting to try for ages. So it smells really fresh and really nice, so I'm looking forward to trying that. I don't know if that's focusing. Hopefully it is. Then I got Dream Cream Body Lotion which again I've wanted to try for ages and ages and ages so I'm going to give that one a go and then the last thing that they gave me for free was Mask of Magnaminty which is obviously, well it's called a face and back mask but yeah it smells like it says like really minty so yeah that's that so that's everything I got um, I'm going to be doing a spring summer um, style video soon about what to wear, what to put with what you know, jumpsuits, um, skirts, dresses and accessories, things like that. And things that I like to put together when it's getting a bit warmer. So maybe that will give you some tips and advice. So let me know what other videos you want to see. And I'll see you later, guys. Bye!